So we have a question of how do you stand up the valve so that you can optimally image the device going in. And we're going to talk about that for both uh, AF mitral and tricuspid. So let's try tri side with tricuspid first. So typically the uh, inflow view, you have the aortic valve here, and typically it's 45 degrees. That's very common, okay, 45 to 50 degrees. And what happens sometimes is that because the rotation of the heart, but the esophagus is, you're beaming across like this, okay? So this is RV, this is RVOT, this is aortic valve, okay? So what we would like to do is to stand it up. What I call stand it up. Stand up meaning let's go to 60 to even 90 degrees depending on the patient. So what that does, it really kind of force rotate on the probe. I'm not an echo imager, but we kind of see what, what the impact of just doing that rotation is that now you're putting the valve more center and then you move the aortic valve kind of out of the way. So now you want to want to see on the screen is more like this. So you have the whole sweep. You don't have the aortic valve in your way. Because if you have the aortic valve in your way, when you do your X-plane, your grasping view, you're going to have an aortic valve here. You're not going to truly see the septum. Okay? So you, you want to be able to show that you're truly, you see the septal anterior, for example, anterior septal in this manner, depending how you beam it. Because again, what happens is that when you beam it oblique, let's say you will have your device open, you're not going to be able to see the whole device, okay? The reason being is that suppose my device is here. Okay, the ultrasound beam is here. So you can either beam here or you can beam here. You can't beam both because you're not cutting through the, the clip. So if I want to check the grippers, if the imager beam down here, that's not going to see, you're not going to see the, the arms. You have to have ask the imager to beam up here to see the arms to check the grippers. But if you stand the valve up, you're cutting literally across the whole device. You cut through the device. So if you cut through the device, you're going to be able to see both arms. And sometimes it's very subtle. Of course, you have to remember, your device has to be perpendicular to the grasping, right? So this is the opposite example. If your device is like this, they're not going to be able to see it because their beam is not cutting through the device properly. They go to cut through the top or the bottom. So this is, you have to either let them cut through the top to check the grippers, or you have to add more flex, right, to make sure it's perpendicular. So, so it goes both ways. So the imager has to be able to beam appropriately through the device, cut through the device, but your trajectory also has to be optimized first, so that be before they can check the grippers. So this motion with the flow and combination of echo can be very efficient, very quick, uh, this portion, of, because you want to spend the most time doing the grasping. So that's kind of how you can do stand, stand this up. Same thing for mitral. Okay, so let's do mitral valve again. So if your apex is at seven o'clock, right? Your ultrasound beam is like this. Your device, assuming it's perpendicular, is like this. Again, you are beaming not through the device. So you're gonna have to beam the upper part of the device to see the arms. You're gonna have to see To be able to see the arms properly, you have to beam it high. You can't beam the belly of the device because you're gonna beam this part, you won't see you won't see the arm. So that's why again, sometimes you're like 60 degrees uh, or even less. We had one case recently, you know, to be able to stand this up properly, 
we have to go, you know, 70 to even 95 to 100 degrees because the heart is so rotated. But if you stand it up like this and you beam like this, especially in the context of the device being perpendicular, you cut through the device and you can easily check the arms and you can make sure that your clip, uh, your device and your apex is six o'clock.